What's up, YouTube? We back with another reaction video. And let's get to it. We hit a react to Milk 74 addressing AD. You a party crip. <laughs> Not a party crip, though. Now let's get into it for y'all folks to watch. What's the deal? So check this out. I find it mighty hilarious that the only thing X No Jumper employee Compton AD and his out of shape, overweight sidekick Ace Boy Wendy the Pun can say about me is that I'm friendless. I don't have no friends. Listen to how they sound. Cause ain't got no friends. Cause ain't around a bunch of males all day. Cause ain't got no males all day with him on camera. You know how they sound? You know how childish and weird and like Gilligan-ish that shit sound? I don't need no friends. I'm a grown man. Like I said first, I don't want to hang around males all day. I, that's not nothing I want to do. I did that. A lot when I was a younger running the streets, you know, like you around your friends all day, bro. I did that. And then I learned that friends ain't really friends. Friends going to turn the Gilligans in the end. Friends feel like entitled. Facts. He had a, um, a point on that. Um, a lot of the people I was hanging around back in the day and just recently, I just felt like I had to cut ties with because everybody felt like they're entitled to something you got going on. Really, they haven't right really been putting in the work for nothing you created and put on um, for your platform or whatever you got to do like just whatever like people don't like understand that they're like okay we might be cool but i don't owe you nothing like we all got the same 24 hours we all gotta take care of our families at the end of the day so he made a big point on that one milk something for uh uh, they get jealous. It's a lot of envy. You know, you got to watch out for the back door. And usually when you level up in life, you don't really have them same friends from the past. Like your friends in the present day ain't the friends from the past. And that's the case, bro. But that's how they sound. Cause I ain't got no friends. Cause most of them people that's on the camera with them ain't they friends, bro. They there for the opportunity to get on. They there mm -hmm. for the clout to be on that platform. And they talking about friends. They not real friends. They talk about their friends on camera, bro. The most personal shit about their friends is going to get spoke on camera off of the clicks and the views. I don't want no friends like that. Let me not be. Mark is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer on be confused about this y'all 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 don't need to be confused about this either but i know like and then they said something about friends they barely wanted to go see smack why he was in the hospital bro when smack got into that accident and was in the hospital they didn't want to go smack had to make a video saying oh nobody coming up here to really see me like that then they probably went up there so friends why well, <laughs> i'm a grown man the only friends that i need is my subscribers g and my family that that's all i need bro like i'm on a whole different time you like comment subscribe by the way and share this video still hang y'all still hang around people that ain't doing nothing all day that's on y'all i'm on to some whole other shit but look now like i said i find that mighty hilarious that's all that they could say they can't say like they want to say oh he lying about his past oh he's a claimer he ain't really never been from nowhere he ain't did none of that bro they can't say none of that so they sound friendless but let me tell you how i feel about ace boy winnie the pun first he's the type of individual in my eyes that prey on the weak i'm not i'm not gonna lie he, he prey on the weak he prey on the individuals like uh let's say pot lord you feel me he really went in on josh Probably for no legit real reason, bro. But then when Almighty Suspect Father went up there, it what happened? The the situation with O3, what happened? You know, their energy is just different. The way they do they podcast, it, it varies on the person that's there. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, he the type of person that prey on the weak. He wanna use his affiliation and where he's from to like you know, like push people and have them very intimidated, bro. That's like 
Gilligan activity to me. Where I come from, bro, if you get into something, you better not go run and get your homies. You better handle that first and then go holler at them later. You go business. get them if it's real drastic, bro, or if it's something that you can't handle. But this individual is the type that prey on the weak. I, I'm not even going to lie, bro. Do prey on the weak. It's funny. And then, and then it's like, I don't really know what's kind of AD issue with me. I really don't know, bro. I don't know if it's like when I went up to no jumper to highlight Adam 22 and he came out there, maybe he got backlash from certain. And that's another thing, man. I remember that um that video when Milk 74 was going up there to check Adam 22 temp and he didn't want to stand on no type of business. He sent AD out there to do his dirty work and just it just made it look bad like on both of their parts. Like for one, Adam 22, you talk all that stuff behind your podcast show and whatever, but in reality, you scared of people and you just like egging on situations that don't need to be like blew up into this big proportion. And I just feel like, yeah, you know, like, like, um, Milk say, like, AD do a lot of, a lot of trolling. And like, I, I, I really think he get that, that, that energy from Adam, like, just being around Adam for so long, it kind of rubbed off on him. But yeah, I still, I still like AD. He's a um, he's a respectable person in the, in the, uh, in the industry community or whatever. But um, as far as I see, like he's a good dude and milk. So let's just get back to it. Certain people about how they thought he was supposed to handle it. Maybe they thought he was just supposed to like rush me. I don't know. Or it could be maybe he's blaming me for the exposing of Kiki. Maybe they just trying to put 100% of the blame on me. I don't know. Oh, back to the praying on the week. You feel me? Look how it go. With well, Ace Boy, Winnie the Pun. Winnie the Pun. <laughs> and Almighty Suspect Father versus Ace Boy, Winnie the Pun and Sharp, bro. That, let, I'm, I'm just going to say it. Don't be fair. Like, he ain't keeping the same energy all around the board. And that's Gilligan activity to me. But let, let's go back to that. So, I don't know if Compton AD is trying to put the blame on me for his brother getting exposed. But his brother, you know, shouldn't have did that interview with Sharp, to be honest, bro. Or if he did do the interview with Sharp, maybe he should have told Sharp, like, leave out my, you know, leave out my jail history. I don't want to talk about you know, what I got locked up for. Maybe he should have said that, but then he couldn't say that because that would have been weird. He's talking about everybody else, uh, shit, but he don't want to talk about his, bro. But yeah, I did react to it, bro. I got to be fair. Like, I can't, like, I can't selective politic. I got to be all around the board with it, bro. But like I said, I don't know if that's the problem, but bro, like, I'm friendless, but I really feel like the image that he portraying is really a gimmick, bro. He's not a real crib, bro. You can't tell me this. Like, so he's supposed to be a game banger from Compton that ain't never hit juvenile hall, ain't never did a camp program, never went to YA Youth Authority, never hit the county jail. He didn't run no phase with no enemigos, no ops, whatever y'all want to call him in the county jail. He haven't hit prison, bro. Now, granted, it is some individuals that kind of like wiggle through the system or whatever but it's no way you actively in the streets for years and you don't go down let me make that clear like when i was younger you know i got away with a lot of stuff as a juvenile but yes i did get booked several times i the first time was probably like 14 or something that was the first time i got booked for it you feel me as a juvenile but i got away with a lot but i did eventually get booked bro the same thing as an adult, you feel me? I hit Juvenile Hall. I did a camp program at Camp Page. I hit the county jail several times, bro. So you want me to believe that this active crip from Compton, bro, ain't never went to no type of lockup? Low? Nah, I'm not believing that. And this is the same individual that claimed. That he have a legal firearm? So you got a legal firearm. Like, it's too many red flags for me, bro. And I ain't never heard about this dude in the streets. 
He's a party crip to me. Like, honestly, bro. Like, for real. And then he pray on the week, too, bro. It's like they need a group of individuals. Like, like they thrive off of that. They need that, bro. Like, the whole situation with them, with Desto Dub, bro. Like, okay, if y'all wanted to approach him and say something, it don't take a group of y'all. Why are a group of y'all approaching that man, bro, that y'all know don't gangbang? Y'all know he don't gangbang. Y'all know he ain't from nowhere. Y'all know this. Y'all know the person that he used to really be close with is no longer with us. Draco is resting in peace. You feel me? So y'all figure like, oh, he's an easy lick. He's a target. You feel me? We can do what we was taught to do and, and pray on the weekend. Bully people, bro. But it won't be me, Loke. Like, I, I don't care about that shit. Like, I'm not, like, um, yeah, I'm, I, I just, it's, it's weird, bro. It's like, damn, like, they pray on the week. But when O3 Greedo sent them that warning, they barely speak. When people ask me what I do, I say... AD, on the internet. Oh, I'm rich. You ain't got no friends. I'm rich. You rich. How are you rich, bro? Like, before... Let, let's make this clear. AD, Compton AD. Before YouTube, Compton AD was very broke. Like, really couldn't survive in life honestly bro like he couldn't like provide for no household he was down bad he said it out his own mouth he was a low budget male 304 he was a low budget <laughs> gigolo like he was going driving like a hour and a half to go slice some meat and some type of big body do my freak or something for do my boy a AD like that. amount of a fee he said that on his own mouth g yeah he had a few songs like Whatever, like, but he wasn't making no dough off of music. And then that's another thing. He really got low-key, like, TMZ famous for being in these parties, you know, with a bunch of squares and regular individuals and regular humans. And he in there, like, basically praying on the week, like, sucker punching people, putting them to sleep. Like, come on, you, you want me to respect that? Like, you want me to, like, come on, bro. I'm not, I'm not respecting no shit like that. And he was not eating before YouTube. I was eating before YouTube. I was already providing for a household. I was providing for my woman and a child, bro, in me. I've been doing that before YouTube. Can he say the same thing? No, fool. He can't. Because without no jumper, without Adam 16, if Adam 22 didn't pull him in, bro, he wouldn't be in that Benz. He wouldn't be in that rented condo. He wouldn't be able to, like, provide for a household. And I'm just being honest. So if I'm friendless, then Compton AD is a party crip. Never been to jail. No shit like that, bro. Not not none. And then he tried to, like, act like he was really from the trenches. And, like, just because you grew up and, like, lived in Compton, that don't even mean you grew up in Compton, bro. Like, just because you got a brother from somewhere all the time, that don't mean you even hanging around where he from, bro. Like, this shit is crazy, like, to me, Loke. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I I just think he a party crip. If I'm friendless, then bro a party crip. He ain't never been to jail. He's, like, claimed to be a gangbanger from Compton. Never been to jail, bro. Not one time. Like, and then when he was on No Jumper, if you really look at it and peep the script, he never really interviewed no, like, real... I never really seen him interviewed no Compton Crip rappers. Not like that. Like I, I don't I can't recall. If he did, then y'all gotta let me know. But I don't recall it, bro. Mm, not on jumper. I don't watch the other podcast because that shit probably boring. Like I nobody even wanna watch that shit because it's all just like female type drama all day. Like for real, bro. Like if he would have knew what was better, <laughs> he probably would have stayed at no jumper, bro. Because And then it's the crazy part, like, they really be thinking they did something. But I did this by myself on my solo. And whatever I get from Miss Milk TV, that's, I'm getting that to the solo. I don't got to split it with a group of three or four or mo. I don't got to do that, bro. But, yeah, I don't get on here acting like something I'm not. I'm not getting on here my whole, like... 
It's just I don't know. But yeah, like, so if I'm friendless, the Compton AD is a party crit that ain't never been to jail, and he from Compton, California. Let's let let's just make that be known. Brian ain't never been to jail. Facts. Like I said, in certain cases, you know, people might not go to jail as a juvenile, but they might hit the county and go to prison. Some people might be in jail like they hold juvenile, hit YA, I mean hit camp, YA. But then they get out, they don't really hit county or the prison. They might just been to the police station, bro. But it's no way possible you an active gangbanger in Compton and you ain't never, ever, ever been incarcerated, bro. You only been to the police station for something like that, bro. Like, in the police station and right out. Like, come on. Like, nah. He ain't never hit the county jail. He ain't never been to Wayside. He ain't never hit no 2000 flow. How we even know he tried, tested, and true and forever suited in blue? How do we know that if he ain't even been tested? Oh, <laughs> and remember, for the people that know. See, I'm, I'm probably going to have to do another reaction, but for the people that know, even his uncle, OG dude that had a show on No Jumper that Adam fired because the show wasn't really doing what he thought. It was like, wasn't getting no love. The, the numbers was low, and it, it was just like, it, it wasn't cutting what it was supposed to cut, bro. Like, that OG, he said AD was never in the streets. He was on the sidewalk, bro. AD father... Was, is, was and is a lawyer, bro? Like, <laughs> now granted, that don't mean nothing because the father is a lawyer, but I'm just trying to say they want y'all to believe Compton AD and A's boy, Wendy DePon, that because the color of their skin and then the color of my skin, you know, is different, that they supposed to be more realer than me. That just because the color of their skin, they could say, oh, I'm from Compton, you know, that's where my parents had a house at. I was outside. Everybody know me. No, the only people that know you and know of you is because of the industry. Yeah, the industry know you. Not in the streets. The industry. Not in the streets. The industry. Yeah. You need a group of males to go anywhere. You need a group of males to push up on Desto Dub, a guy that you know don't game bang, bro. Like, you need a group of males. When I went to go holla at Adam 22, I went by myself. I didn't go with a group of males. I didn't take a bunch of homies. Like, I didn't do that. I'm a grown man. I was raised different. I'm cut from a very different cloth, bro. But like I said, if I'm friendly, the Captain AD is a party crit. And Ace Boy, uh, Winnie the Pun, he's probably one too. No, he is one too, and he pray on the week. I ain't no fool. I know what it is. But I want to know what y'all think. Y'all got to let me know. And real quick, it's Mill Gang. I appreciate every one of y'all. That's all I Yeah, for um, that video, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this video. Um, Yeah, we'll, do, we'll be doing more reactions. Just stay tuned. We are.